Hello viewers, welcome back to Mules of Tech Zone. This is Ravan Lingam and this is in continuation to our series like QDTech AI. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen like uh, we have installed our plugin. Okay, if you have any issues, uh, please make sure that you comment on the Slack channel. So the only way that you can download the uh, QDTech AI plugin is by joining the Slack channel and you can find the plugin inside the plugins folder in that channel. All right, so now we will see like how to use. So you can see like I have already logged in, but you know, you can all, I will just close it and show you like how to, you know, go to that particular tab. Uh, there are some kind of uh, things because the plugin is new and the team is like really trying to improve the <coughs> feel, look and feel and also like, you know, uh, the features. Uh, so the small things that I would like you to, you know, uh, focus on so that like you don't go into those issues. Now, when you install your plugin, you can see like uh, file, edit, navigate. Again, I am using MacBook. So your view would be like different if you are using Windows, but you should be able to view Curitic AI tab here on the top, like, you know, like project, navigate and everything. You have a new tab here. So click on that one and you will have that option to open QTech AI. All right. I have already logged in, but it is always good that you always log out. Okay. That is the first step that you wanted to do. Before connecting to QTech AI, you have to make sure that you should have at least one project in an open state. Not at least, like you should have only one project in an open state. Okay. Like here, you can see like I have two projects in an open state, but uh, only one project is open, okay? That is first rule while you are using this plugin. Again, the team will come up with more features, more enhancements, but for now to make it work, you have to make sure that only one, you cannot open like both the projects. That won't work, all right? So close this project. So just open the project that you wanted to work on. And um, there is another small thing that I have observed. I will explain that as well. But the first thing that you do is like sign out and then connect to QDTech AI. It will take you to this authorization page and click on authorize. And yep, you're connected. And it will show you all your tasks that are associated with your QDTech AI that you have performed on the platform. When I say platform, it's the UI version of it. All right. So like, for example, if I click on view, uh, view task, let me make it bigger. Um, so this is how it looks. Okay. All my tasks here, you can see like two, one, three, four, four and everything are appearing here. Now, when you, the first thing that you need to do, if you want to perform anything, right? So if I open this test one, test project and test.xml, I don't have anything here. I just created a sample project. Now what I wanted to do is click on new task. And when you click on new task, it will show you the project that is already open. Okay. Again, there might be a scenario that you might face. Again, first I'm telling you like how to resolve all these issues. Then I will go with the actual implementation. If you click on new task, you can see like, you know, the project which is open that is test. Now see what I'm going to do. I am going to close the project. All right, just put it here and I'm going to open the other project like QDTK AI. And now you can see if I click on new task, it will still show the old ones. Okay, the one, the old one, which was open, right? In this case, if you want to use this QDTK AI project, like, you know, if you want to implement the changes in this particular project, always best practice is not best practice for now. You have to sign out, then click on QDTK, connect to QDTK AI authorize and go back, click on new tech, new task and you can see the QDTEC AI, the project which is open. All right. This is how you need to do. I'll do the same dance again. Like I wanted to, you know, make the changes in the test project. Again, like if I click on the new task, it will still show the, you know, QDTEC AI project here. I'm going to open this, even though if it is opened, it will still show the old ones. For that, you need to do like sign out, connect authorize and come back to the studio. Now you can see test project is open. All right. That is how you need to do. So I have created a new test project. It has nothing in it. Okay. So what I wanted to do is like I wanted to add again, you can drag and drop this particular tab anywhere. However, you feel like for me, I feel like this is the good place to keep it. So click on new task, click on test. It will take you to the UI. 
all the things all the prompts you will be giving through ui okay i will show you uh, how to apply those changes uh, within the anypoint studio so the first thing that i would like to do is uh, probably i will use the repository coder okay repository coder and with uh, probably like no repository here all right make sure whenever you have authorized from here by default all these changes will be applied within test project you won't be seeing the project name again all this this is whatever i'm saying this is the current version of the plugin okay for now it will not show the project name however as you have authorized from here by clicking on new task and then you know click on this test it will by default have the changes over here now what i'm going to ask is like uh, create a new flow to accept uh, uh, a query parameter param called name okay and return the response with following uh, sentence so what you can say like hey name welcome to jury tech yeah okay this is what I wanted to have it. So I'm not enabling, currently please do not opt this option like deploy app, I will tell you later in the videos. So for now, this is the change that I would like to have and click on submit, all right. You can see 21384 is my current uh, request and you can see automatically 21384, it is in in progress status, all right. I will tell you two things here okay most of them what you do is like because you are working on the ui part and once you get your flow what you will try to do is like uh, there will be a ui that will be appearing that to approve the changes okay once you have reviewed the code but please do not click on approve on the ui because if you are doing that those changes won't be applied on your any point studio i will tell you you will you will understand that once this task is completed so meanwhile i would like to reiterate like what you need to do please make sure that is the prerequisite is like you need at least one project that is open you should uh, i i would rephrase like you should have only one project open and you should you should have a project in an open state you cannot have closed projects and or empty you know workspace you should have at least one project which is open you cannot open two projects that is the another requirement here so if you have other projects please try to close uh, if you want to make change only in like one project open that project and then sign out and then authorize again sign in and so that like it will show you like new task the project that you wanted to test now you can see i think something has happened so it's my task is completed you can view the task here you can go here it will show here or you can also stay on this string so you have two different stuffs one is like apply changes over here and the other one is like approve over here okay if you want to implement these changes you can see like you know the projects and all like like you know the log 4 j2 xml global.xml pom.xml everything has been created here you should not approve here what will happen if you approve here is like you won't be up able to apply the changes here so please click on apply ch uh, apply changes here and see so do not cl click on perform update just cancel it and click on yes you want to cancel okay now if you go to like uh, where was the manual file generated i think it's like source main mu so if I, oh, it has created a new project. That is something interesting. Usually it should not create a new project, okay? So ignore this, let me delete the file. What I would like to do is click on okay. Then go back to my, um, you know, you can undo the changes here probably, yeah. So what I would like to do is click on new task again, go to test. go to this i think you should be using upload from computer that is my mistake that i have done so what i will do is just copy paste the same you know this one and go back to my conversation again like for example what i will do is i will click on new task again go to test and repository code and 
I am just using this one, the project ones, and I will describe the task. Right now, I am choosing these settings here, whatever we have, and click on submit. I think this should work. The mistake that I have done, it's it's good to know. Like, uh, so what I have done is like when you, when I clicked on like uh, for example like new task here. Uh, and when I went to this repository code, I have selected no repository. In that case, what happened, it is it is trying to create a new project for me. Again, the creation of new project, they are working, the team is working on, there is like a difference in the project structure, so they are working on that, but currently I am working only on the existing projects, all right? So I have submitted the task, you can see like task number is 385 here, so if I go here, I should be able to see, uh, it will sometime takes time to, you know, uh, view here, okay. So, you can see like 385 is appearing. So, it will take, sometimes it will, usually it is faster, but sometimes it will take like 1 to 2 minutes to, you know, appear over on your studio, alright. The task is in, in progress. So, once this is done, uh, you can see like in your previous tasks as well, as long as you are not approving it it will still show like input needed. For now, I can just approve it, that is fine. Once this is approved, it says like difference is applied and uh, I do not think like you can see like you know, now the status is like completed for that previous task, alright. So, let me go back to this. I will try to reiterate what I have done, the mistake that I have done is like when I created the new task with this project, instead of selecting the project repository, right, uh, like if I go to new task and repository, instead of selecting the project, uh, you know, upload from computer, I have clicked on no repository, okay, please make sure that one. But if you are connecting with GitHub and all, you can always use with repository option, for now I am not connecting with that, I am still waiting for the task to be completed. So, please make sure all this stuff, this, again this is the initial version of the plugin and uh, the team is working to uh, uh, continuously improve the uh, with the new enhancement. So, feel free to free to uh, you know suggest your and give the feedback. Now, you can see like it is ready to apply, if I go here you can see now there is something called welcome api.xml that is the reason earlier I was like surprised to see like all the form.xml and global.xml got created but now you can see there is only like one xml file that is created all right this is the one again please do not click here a team is working on this to change the ui but do not click approve here okay i'll show you like what happens if you click on approve here but you have to go back click on apply changes all right now you can see there is a xml file that is appearing over here welcome api here you have a http listener you have your transfer message all right you have so it has already you know i know like if there is any null value it is handling that part even if, even though like i didn't mention uh, it is having this and it is also all uh, it is also like logging in okay that is which is good right uh, without asking it is doing all this. so it is going to have the best practices in the flow so this is how you need to do and in any case if you want to undo the changes, you feel like something went wrong and you wanted to undo the changes, you can simply click undo button over here, that is it, you know, you, you can see the changes were gone. Again go back to Curitech AI, click on apply changes, it will appear over here, okay. As simple as that and it really, really, really helps a lot to, you know, uh, 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 speed up your or boost your uh, development work. Now, if I go back, now I can use this approve button over here. The difference is applied and you can see in the tick mark. Now, go back again if you think like you wanted to undo the changes, it is reversing the changes and go back and uh, here what happens is because, uh, because you have approved the changes over here, okay, you have clicked on approved here and uh, <clears throat> that is the reason like you won't be able to uh, you know click on this apply changes that is the reason i was asking like not to approve anything if you are working with like any point studio the plugin all right so do not click on approve because you won't be able to you can undo but you cannot apply the changes that you have done 
all right so i hope this session helps you to get started with you can try it out and if you face any issues feel free to uh, you know uh, just join the slack channel and feel free to provide the feedback i hope you like this session and we'll see more sessions coming